It was a tough event, like every rally over there. Um, the conditions were tricky, and the competition was tough. There was a, a, a veteran of the sport there uh, in Gundab Evans, so, you know, right from the word go, I had to put the shoe down, and, you know, we opened up a lead early on, and after that, it was a matter of control, which was even more difficult, because when you have a big lead, uh, you, you don't want to make a mistake, because it it, it looked bad to, to go off and get a puncher with a lead, like, like a 50-second lead, so it was it was quite difficult to control it, but we got to the end with the win, and it was a fantastic result. Yeah, you mentioned there as well, Keith, uh, racing up against guys like Gwyneth Evans, and of course you had that great battle with Mark Higgins last year. It must be uh, a great privilege, really, to, to compete against guys like that. Yeah, it is. For for me, growing up, these were guys I used to watch on TV, you know, they were guys I'd look up to. These are the guys you want to, to become, and to be racing against them at such a, a young age, and then to go on to beat them is, is even better. So, no, it it is a great privilege, and it's, it's, it's fantastic. It's fantastic to go to and race them, and actually give them a race, so, mm-hmm. no, it's good. Yeah, no. Next up, Keith, it's the uh, Pirelli International Rally in Carlisle in a few weeks' time. You won there last year. Uh, what are you expecting this time around? Um, well, we'll be going there with the same the same attitude we go to all events. Like we we'll be going there to push hard and try and win again. Um, it'll be tough again. Like in rallying, gravel rallying, uh, starting one on the road can be quite difficult because there's no clean line and you get a real loose gravel surface on top. So it will make it difficult again. Like it was difficult for me in the bulldog because of that reason, and the prelude will be the same. But it's just to, to try and get to keep everything clean and not make mistakes will, will be the aim and try to put in fast times. Yeah, you must be going into each race this race this year with uh, a lot of confidence, obviously, on the back of, of what you achieved last year as well. And I suppose with that comes a lot of added pressure as well. Yeah, there's obviously I'm driving for a different team this year in Take Sport, and it's backed by Pirelli, so there's, there's the added pressure from Pirelli all the time. Um, but I try to forget about that uh, on the event. I just do what I do at every rally and, uh, and treat it like I did every rally last year. I, I do try not to think of the pressure, and so far so good at working the first round. So we'll, we'll be doing the same for the next the next rally during the year. Yeah, did it ever actually sink in properly, Keith? What you achieved last year, uh, winning the the British Rally Championship in your first year in the series. Um, I suppose it really sank in when I got back home to see the reception I received. Uh, that was fantastic. Um, like maybe over there, and I didn't really realize what I'd achieved. But to see all the people that came out when I came back, that. I think it hit home then of what actually happened. So. Yeah, obviously there's a, still a long way to go yet this year, but how much of an achievement would it be to, to retain the championship? I mean, you look at names like Guy Wilkes and Mark Higgins, we mentioned earlier on. They've done it in recent years. Colin McRae as well, going uh, going further back. You'd be in pretty illustrious company there. Yeah, it'd be, obviously it's the aim to go out and win it. Um, I think it would be the first Irishman to do that if I, if I did it. So, mm-hmm. so that would be nice. Um, but, you know, it, it it is a long season ahead. Um Five very tough rallies to go. Um, you know, anything can happen in rallying. Cause there's, it's not just me. There's a navigator. There's a car that has to run faultlessly during the year. You know, there's so many different things in the sport that can go wrong. So you know, everything has to click. It it's it clicked so far the first round. So hopefully now we can keep that momentum going and go on to to win more rallies and come out with the championship win at the end of the year. Yeah, I know you've changed your team as well, as you mentioned this year, Keith. Uh, you worked on a shoestring budget last year in comparison to the the other teams. Is it the same scenario this year? Well, the, the end of last year, I won a I won a prize. Um, it was two or three weeks after I actually won the championship. It was a, a shootout, and I won the shootout, which provided me with a, a a drive for this year in the British Championship, which is funded by Pirelli, and it's their team that are running me. They, they um, I don't know, did they, they got Take Sport to run the team? So that's how I'm with with Take Sport this year. I'll be doing my own rallying outside of that on my own budget. Maybe more international rallying is the plan. Like I'd like to do some out in Europe and the rest of the world if I can get my own budget together. Yeah, just on that, Keith, what are the, the long-term goals? I mean, obviously, there's still, I'm sure, you want, to, uh, you want to achieve a lot in the British Rally Championship, but long-term, what do you want to achieve? Um, I suppose, like every young rally driver, I want to do my utmost to get to the World Rally Championship. But, um, you know, I, I think I have the ability to do it like... A, you know, but I just need it is very difficult in terms of securing funding and things. But I'm working on it at the moment. You know, I'll be trying to to do maybe a few selected rounds of the World Championship this year, and maybe look to doing the full World Championship, yeah, like in a in a lower a lower side of it, maybe in two years' time or something like that. And obviously, to progress my way to the top of the World Championship is the aim. But you know, it's a, it's a long, hard road. But we we'll, we'll keep trying. Red FM.